Kenya Centum Investment has raised $37.7 million on the debt market. That's about 3.2 billion shillings. This was in form of a fixed rate corporate bond and, and an equity linked note. It didn't exactly specify where this money is going to, which is why we've got James Moria right now, with the CEO of Centum Investment. Thank you for coming on the program. Thank you, Larry. I'm sure you saw that coming. Where are you going to be putting this 3.2 billion shillings? Uh, we have a number of opportunities that mm -hmm. we've developed over the years in our private equity and real estate business. Uh, private equity, our sectors are those sectors that are focusing on uh, fulfilling consumer demand. We have about three or four portfolio investments that we are at very advanced stage. I, I'm not in a position to disclose the details at this point. Right. So some of the money will be going there, and some of the money will be going into a real estate project, specifically two rivers, mm -hmm. where we are targeting to break ground in first quarter of next year. This is an 80% subscription for what you're looking for, but this also raises your debt to um, asset ratio from 7% to 24%. Some might say that is too high. No, it's, um, I think it's important to note a couple of things. One, yes. we have a fairly s a strong cash generative portfolio. Mm -hmm. We've adopted a zero dividend uh, payment policy, which means that we have significant cash available to, to service debt. And at 24%, it's actually quite conservative. And uh, that's also feedback we got from the investors that we targeted for this particular capital raise. Mm -hmm. Yes. Tell me, you're, you're talking about uh, having these notes listed on the securities exchange, subject, of course, to regulatory approvals. How far has that gone? That, that's just, we're just beginning that process. Yes. The, the first step of the process was to raise the money and then begin the, the application process. So that, that process is, is, is beginning as we speak. And you seem to have benefited quite a bit from the recent decline in interest rates because you said here it's created a suitable environment for the issuance of debt instruments at a very reasonable cost. So you're quite happy with the, with the interest rates that came with this? Yes, we're happy because for us, pricing of debt is a function of the return of the opportunities that we have. And if you read my statement, the CEO statement, and what I told investors in July is that mm -hmm. where interest rates were did not make sense for us to borrow at that level to fund the projects that we had. But at this level of borrowing, 13 and a half, uh, 12, 12 that's, that's very reasonable. And then you, we also have it fixed over a five-year period, which mm -hmm. matches the tenure of the investments that we're seeking to make. 12.75 and 13.5 percent. I know a lot of the domestic borrowers were envious of you right now for getting interest rates that low. That said, let's move on to you betting a lot on real estate across, in, in, especially in Kenya. Why is that? We actually betting on the growth of the economy mm -hmm. and the growth of the domestic consumer. And what we are doing in Two Rivers is creating a commercial node. So we have retail, we have office park, we have uh, hospitality, and it's really talking about and banking about, about the, the growth of we see in, in Sub-Saharan Africa and, and, and Kenya and, 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 and Uganda uh, specifically. And the objective is to create investment grade real estate assets that we can now bring into the market to then underpin a, a, a REIT structure or a listed real estate uh, structure that we can then offer to, 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 you know, to institutional and retail investors. You have $190 million in investments across um, all sorts of asset classes, but your end year profits last year took a 40% dip. Talk to us very quickly about what the outlook looks like from where you sit. I think, I think looking at, uh, let's start with, 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 with the last year. Uh, I think we are coming from a year where we had, we had recorded our highest profits ever in the, in the 43 year history of the company. So right. from a comparative uh, point, of, point of view, last year's profits were the second highest still in the 43 year history of the company. Mm -hmm. The significant component of the decline was because of revaluation movements. So it was not necessarily because of any decline in numbers. We, we're still seeing good performance, but I think the real kicker in sort of our returns will come as we, as we get into the projects that we've gotten into. And that's why this particular capital raise is particularly important because over the last three years, we've spent a lot of time building a pipeline and now we have the capacity to fund that pipeline. So I'm sure you, this latest news from the IMF about a 5% economic growth rate projection for Kenya is very well in line with what your own um, clever people are saying. No, it's very well in line, and you know, 5% is general, but when you get to the specifics in terms of the specific segments and the specific locations and specific income groups, mm -hmm. you're actually seeing higher growth than, than because 5% is an average. Yes. 
but when you target in specific sectors, you, you, you actually see higher growth. If you take power, for instance, you know, the, we are actually in a situation where uh, the supply currently is not even matching demand or even segments of, 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 of real estate that we're doing, like retail, for instance. In one of the locations where we are, uh, where we are at, the, the market study shows that the spending power there is north of 3 billion shillings per month. So, you know, you're seeing numbers that are similar to what you'd see in, in developed world, in the developed world, in certain segments of the market that you're targeting. Very bullish. A lot of our viewers might not know this, but you actually started off as an intern at Centum Investment many years ago. So you have a pretty good understanding of how things work in the company. No, I started off in the investment industry at the very bottom as an intern uh, in the filing room. That was uh, 12 years ago. Became an accountant. At one time, I was a legal officer. Became right. an investment professional. So I've been, at one time, even managed a building. Uh, it's, been, it's been an interesting uh, career.